see. Mm, I'm gonna go with Southern Gray Headed Sparrow. Just because of the scaly feathers that we see on the back and it seems like it's just got a gray head or at least we could see a gray head on it before are you that one yeah kind of looks like it oh and then we've got a beautiful as well yellow fronted canary that's on top should be there there we go It's a very colorful little bird. Now, I want to double check. Yes, the yellow fronted canary. Okay, good. For a moment there, I thought maybe my birding was getting a bit rustier, and I don't think Tristan or Brent would have been too impressed had I gotten it wrong. Oh, and then we've got. Look like a quillia of sorts. A red billed quillia, perhaps. Let's double check now. And our bird book. Maybe this will be another one that we can take off. Hmm. Certainly, the little ones are keeping me busy today. Now, this is my nemesis birding. I have gotten better in the last few years because Tristan has pretty much forced me to. <laughs> but <laughs> I think my time with him has proven interesting in terms of how many bird fights we have had. No, actually you look like a scaly feathered finch to be quite honest. There we go with the yellow fronted canary once more. Oh, flown away. Now I just want to go back to the finches, where are you guys? Finches, 428. Oh, I was getting there on the bird book. Village indigo bird. We do have finches around this area and I wish we could have had maybe a, a bit of another look because now I'm getting a bit confused about what if possibly could have been what we saw. But I think maybe... A pin-tailed wider could have been. Now I'm getting confused. Perhaps even a village indigo bird could have been. Now let's see what else is in there. Sometimes I wish they were there quick enough for me to have a look as then I start forgetting the very main features. I've lost it. Ah, that's a blue wax bill. That's one of the easy ones. Beautiful little bird and they're always around here. You guys are so pretty. <laughs> now we've gone back to you. what looks like a sparrow. A grey-headed sparrow, it seems. Ah. <laughs> all of them are down in this tree. Now, this tree provides a great shelter for all the different species of bird because of all the thorns that are there. So if you see where he's hanging, you see all those tiny little very powerful hook thorn. So if there were anything bigger like a leopard, a mongoose, a snake to come to that would try to come onto the birds, they are protected because it would be slightly harder for any of these creatures to get to them. Or any potential predators to get to them. Huh. It's been quite interesting this morning. Somebody's rearranging his feathers as well, just like we saw the hornbill do earlier on. <laughs> fixing your back tails. Now, at the back of the tail and where it was busy uh, pecking a few moments ago, they've got a gland called the preening gland and oh, off it goes. And that gland produces an oil that they use to coat their feathers and just keep them in very good condition. So I wonder if perhaps he was just trying to get some of the flakes or some of the oil from that gland and then start cleaning itself up. <laughs> 